Hi everyone and welcome to Neve's Art Journaling Channel. Today I'm going to be having a final flip through of this beautiful junk journal that was gifted to me by Chrissy Mannix. I'll link the um, flip through of the first half of this journal um, in the description box below. Uh, but I'll go straight into the second half, which starts here. So this junk journal has been done in two signatures and it's just been so much fun to work in. And Chrissy used all sorts of different bits of paper in the backgrounds watercolours, light papers, some that had stenciling on it. So it's just been fun to create over what she already had in this journal. Um, this journal is full of printables by Little Raven Inc. who, um, through her Patreon site or her Etsy site, sells collage images. And I absolutely adore her style, so I chose to put her images into this book because otherwise they just sit there gathering dust and me looking at them. It's also the journal I use when I go traveling because it's really a small size and I can just put all the stuff in together and it's something I, it's very transportable just with a few printables, a pair of scissors and some Posca paint pens and a, a watercolor set. So this is the first page, um, Mistakes of the Portals of Discovery which I really liked. Just a little thing here. I. Painted, I've been playing around with neons a lot and this is just a clean off page. I'd use my brayer over it with some ghosting with a stencil that I've been practicing with. I tend to journal a bit more in this pay, or in this little book and it tends to be more about how I'm feeling at the time because a lot of the images or imagery that Little Raven Ink creates really speaks to me in that way. <clears throat> so this is my, I even overthink my overthinking. And so I've got this page, I've got the little person, she's overthinking. And then uh, over here I'm journaling about whether overthinking is a blessing and a curse. I'm a school teacher and for me, thinking about all the possibilities before they actually happen is helpful in my profession. Um, it's certainly not helpful in my personal life, I have to say, but that's why it was sort of blessing or a curse and that's what I was thinking about. And then this one's just overlaying lots of different things. So in the backgrounds... Um, I tend to just do little bits of watercolour over the pre-printed pages. You can see there's a stencil here in the background. I've just added in extra paint. This I've got a video on in my channel, which is a very un-me-like spread for this journal. But I was playing around with the Distress Oxide stamps and doing some texture work in the background. And then I had these two Sherlock Holmes and Watson stamps from Tim Holtz. And I just like the quote, learn the rules like a pro, break them like an artist. In this pay journal as well, I just play around with some the stuff that's sitting around. I've been doing some stenciling with the darkroom door stencils. So I had them sitting there and I just stenciled over the page in the background and in this Little Mermaid's hair as well. And I got some new stamps, so I stamped those into the background. I love this, these two images and you'll see in the next page they'll come up again. And um, I did a lot of these pages when I was traveling. So I traveled with a bag of the printables, some Posca paint pens, uh, the Tim Holtz mic making stamp set, and a pair of scissors. And it was just enough for me to do something creative in the hotel room um, and really enjoy what I was doing and have finished pieces of art without having that many supplies. So this is just again, playing a bit with mic making, explore the unknown. Between the pages of my journal is where art and life collide. I love this picture of the man and room for imagination. And you'll notice here, I've cut out an image, which was this image, and I, I don't throw out the excesses. I tend to stick those into my page too, do journaling in them or stick something else underneath them, because they're always so interesting that um, it would be a waste to throw them away. This page I did and as part of this um, Aussie YouTube hop, which is on my channel as well, and it was um, being inspired by awareness ribbons. So um, my piece was inspired by the um, infertility, pregnancy loss um, ribbon and about the journey I've been through um, with infertility and, and pregnancy loss. And it really spoke to me. Now, this isn't actually... Um, Courtney's art, well, it's inspired by Courtney's artwork, you can see that here, but it's actually me sort of drawing it out and trying to represent it, because I like the idea of the female and someone being there to support her, and, and somewhere 
Somewhere Something Incredible has been waiting to know, is waiting to be known, is also a quote that's really important to me because when I was going through my two week wait after going through um, IVF for my child, um, I had a cross stitch because so much had happened before and I don't do cross stitch but it had this quote on it and I had it sitting up in front of me just you know hoping for the best expecting the worst all that overthinking and good things came so um, these little quotes from Tim Holtz as well just really tie in with that you're all I'd hope to find in every single way there's nothing like a dream to create a future hold tight to your dreams miracles happen when you believe so the full story of how this page is created is on my YouTube channel, but it's, it's a page that I'm really proud of and it's a page that really speaks to me. As does this one. <laughs> um, this one, creative to, creativity never goes out of style, because it doesn't. And it can be odd and it can be fun and it can be colourful and it be, can be crazy, but it never goes out of style. And creativity is the way I share my soul with the world, which again is true. And I think in the case of Courtney, uh, Little Raven Ink, that's obviously true for her as well because her artwork just speaks to so many people. So this little one, I had this image which had little ears on it, which I really liked. So I cut those out and then drew in some ears on the other side. So I sort of had this tip in that sort of worked. And I like these little pages because they sort of blend in and add on to the pages. Um, these pages were all done when I was away earlier this year. Um, so I just journaled a bit about our travelling and how we, we were having a great time, how we loved what we were doing on the trip. This page, I had lots of little figures floating about, so I just decided to flood the page with them. Had some floating and so on. Um, had lots of fun doing the mic making in the background. A good idea because a great idea when you let it out, which is so true as well. Um, she's got a lot of, because her printables are also for planners, and scrapbookers and people who are organised who need dates and frames and so on. She's got a lot of frames. I just cut the inside of it out because I actually had this on my collage paper that I wanted to frame up and that worked really well. Um, this page I really like but and I'm, while I really liked journaling with a pink pen I wish I'd actually journal with black because it just sort of blends away to nothing. Um, but it's lots of fun and again this is the off cuts of a page I did in the first half Somewhere back here. Dee, 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 dee. That page. So the balloons from here. This is a scrap. I just turned to the back of the page and stuck them in. Um, that one I did, haven't really done much to, but I really liked it because it reminded me of um, the Studio Ghibli, is it my neighbour Totoro um, character? And we cannot become what we want by remaining who we are. This one. Sometimes her quotes just really speak to me on the day and with this one I just had one of those days that I didn't seem to be doing anything. So sitting here playing with my um, watercolours in the background and I stuck this over the top. I was like, yep, I need to tell myself self that today. This page is very not me. It's very sepia-ish and sort of, yeah, but it's very gentle and I liked it. So I came up Oh, I didn't come up with a quote at all, but the quote I found on Pinterest, autumn is the season that teaches us that change can be beautiful, and just repeated that over and over, and I just really liked how it all tied together. Again, this centre bit was where this quote came from. So I'd cut it out and then just used the excess and then journaled in the middle. Um, this page I've been playing with texture paste in the background. I was trying to colour the texture paste with the mermaid markers so you can sort of see some sparkle on the page. I had lots of characters so I decided to stick those all down and I just got the um, Art by Mylene sticker book with these cool quotes in it. I thought they went well, um, well together. I just like this whole cast of characters sitting there in my journal. This page um, I love as well. It's very serene. Um, and I tend to do a lot of my art journaling at night when my two children are in, uh, in bed asleep. So nighttime pages really appeal to me. <laughs> and I'm, I'm thinking they may not have been sleeping all that well this night. So I, I was writing sleepy words down there so at least some of us could be sleeping. Again, just these really quirky little things on the little tip outs I just like. Um, I can go back and journal around there if I want, but I just like that page as is. 
Same with this one, I just did some collage and some papers that I had in the background, stuck this down over the top and said practice kindness. This page, I love this combination of red and turquoise and this is just a clean off page. I had some extra paint which I'd brayed on and um, one of her uh, Little Raven Inks more recent printables is this beautiful girl. I think it was to celebrate her being on Patreon for two or three years and it just tied in beautifully with this page. So it's actually quite simple but I really love it. <laughs> this was done after a really crappy day when people were just being rude. <laughs> um, so I decided to do this page and I just love this because today stinks and just the, the side eye, they're both giving each other because it was just that kind of day. And it's not hard to be polite, honey works better than vinegar and I do realize there's a spelling mistake on here and I cannot work out how to put the E in there without ruining it. So I've just resigned myself to live with it. but. <clears throat> it's really frustrating. I wish I'd proofread it better. <laughs> this again is a really simple page. It was just the leftover paint scribbled on. Um, this little character out here, this is a piece of happy mail that was sent to me that's been sitting up on my desk but I wanted to find a place to put it in so I could have it and I just loved how the whole page worked together. This very pale page and then lots happening on this page. And this is self-love day, be your own hero, which again is a message I need to hear. And I think that's what I love about this book. Um, there may not be much journaling on the page, but there's always a message or just something about the characters themselves always speak to me and make me feel better and make me think about something. So it's, this is probably one of my more personal books. Um, even though a lot of the artwork's not mine, it's from someone else, by working with someone else's <coughs> work, it's like working collaborative, collaboratively with them and um, in, a, in a true sense for me this is probably a true art journal because it does have those deeper thoughts and feelings in it than some of my other pages do. Um, this page again is using one of those off cuts from this image and inside I've just done some journaling about finding your tribe um, of people who support you and help you out no matter what. Um, and inky friends are the best. I've got some great people who've made friends with during doing all my stuff online and who support me in my artistic endeavours which I really appreciate so it's nice to just journal about them and how they've helped work me where I am now. <coughs> Excuse me. This one, wherever you stand be the soul of that place. I just like how it, it ties in with this gorgeous person here. And Courtney, or a little raven ink, calls these her little monsters, which they are, but they're so much cuter than monsters, so we need to come up with a new name for them. This is the final page um, in the journal, um, and it's the quote is, create the art you wish to live in the world, to brighten your world or to see in the world. Um, the quote itself was from um, Inky Quill, who's another artist on Patreon who does printables. So I just tore that up in the background, put some of the printables over the top, did some mic making around the side. And then, because I really love this image, I just stuck that on with some washi tape. So this is just a beautiful little book that I'm going to treasure with lots of fun things in it. If you want to see the first little half, um, tune in to the um, link that's in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.